Hello, how is everybody doing today? You ready to learn about compound words? Compound words are words that are made up of two smaller words. So a compound word is a big word, but it has two small words inside of it. So you will see a word and a word and we put them together to make a new bigger word that means something different and you will see so if we have a compound word we can read the first part like this bob and then the second part cat so we read the first part and that's usually one syllable bob and cat put them together bob cat and the reason this is a compound word is that um, each of the words by itself, each of the smaller words is a word all by itself. So this word Bob talks about the tail on this kind of a cat. This Bobcat has a small, like a bobbed tail. Bobcat, Bobcat. And here we have the word, the small word sun. And another small word, set. You put them together and you have sunset. So the word sun is a word all by itself. Sun, we all know what the sun is. And then when it sets in the sky, that's the word set, you have a sunset. So it's a new word made up of two smaller words. The two smaller words are sun and set. And it makes a new word when you put them together, sunset. This word you have the first part is I, point to your eye. And then you have lid. Now point to your lid over your eye. That's called an eyelid. Like a lid to a jar or something. It's kind of a weird word. We say that's your lid. I lid. Put them together, eyelid. And that's the part that covers your eye, eyelid, the part of your skin that covers your eye, just like a lid on a jar or a lid on a box covers the box, eyelid. Next one, we have some and one. Put them together, you have someone. Next word, we have some again. And the second smaller word, body, some body, somebody. Next word, we have the first part. The first word by itself is every. And the second word is thing. We have every thing. Put them together, everything. Let's go ahead and read this first line. Bobcat. Try and read it before I do. Sunset. Eyelid. Someone. Somebody. Everything. Next line. We have two smaller words. The first one is ice. Second part is box. We know what ice is, and we also know what box is. So if we put them together, we can figure out what an ice box is. It's a box that holds ice. In other words, like a freezer is called an ice box. Here we have out. The second part is run. Each of those is a word by itself, out and run. You put them together, you have outrun. <clears throat> Next word we have my and self. Each of those two words, we have a word, my, and another word, self. Put them together, we have myself. Next part, her and self. Put them together, we have herself. Next word, him, 
self, himself. So those three go together, don't they? Myself, herself, himself. Next word, we have the first part, down, and the second part, stream. We put them together, we have downstream, downstream. We know what down is, think about what it means down. And a stream is like a small river. So if you think about this word down, stream, picture a river going down. Where that is, that's called downstream. So even though this word looks really, really big, it is a really big word. If you can break it up into its two parts, you have this word down, and you have this other word stream, you should be able to read the bigger word. If you break it apart and sound it out, you can do it. Downstream. Okay, let's read this line. Try and read it before I do. Icebox, outrun, myself, herself, himself, downstream. Next line we have sun is the first part. Rise is the second part. Sun, rise. If you know what the word sun means, I think everybody does. And if you know what the word rise means when something comes up, if you put them together, then you will know what a sunrise is. It's when the sun comes up in the sky. Sunrise. Next word we have bull and frog. Put them together. Bullfrog. And this is a very big frog. And I guess people thought at one point that it looked a lot like a bull. We know what a bull is and a frog. So this is a frog that actually looks like a bull. It's a big frog. Next one, sun and light. You know what the sun is and you know what light is. You put them together and you can know what the meaning of this big word is, sunlight. It's the light that comes from the sun. Next compound word. Let's see if we can figure out what this is. We have two words put together to make a bigger word that means something different. If you take the two parts, you can, you're able to figure out what this bigger word means. First part is star. Second part is fish. We know what a star is and we know what a fish is. We put them together we have starfish, and that is a fish or a water creature that looks like a star. Next, we have rain and storm. Put them together, rainstorm. You know what rain is, and you know what a storm is. You put them together, you have a storm with a lot of rain. That's called a rainstorm. Next part, we have lumber. Lumber is another word for wood that has been chopped down to use for building things. Lumber and Jack. And that's a, a man's name, Lumberjack. And a, lumber, a Lumberjack is a man who cuts down trees for wood. That's called a lumberjack. Okay, let's read this line of compound words. Try and read it before I do. Sunrise, bullfrog, sunlight, starfish, rainstorm, lumberjack. Next word, we have the first part is tree 
The second part is house. Put them together, we have tree house. And that is like a little house that somebody builds in a tree. A tree house. Next we have sword and fish. And that is a fish. Oh, let's put it together first. Swordfish. And that is a fish that has a part to its body that looks kind of like a sword. So they call it a swordfish. It has a really sharp, long part in the front of its face or its head. Swordfish. Next, we have moon and light. Moonlight. You know what the moon is and you know what light is. Put them together, you have moonlight. Light that comes from the moon. Just like this word, sunlight, is the light that comes from the sun. Now we have light that comes from the moon, moonlight. Next word. First part is hump. Second part is back. And this is a type of whale that's called a humpback whale. And its back has a bump on the on it. So that's why they call it a humpback. A hump is another word for like a bump on its back. Humpback. Next word. First part, surf. Second part, board. Put them together. Surfboard. It is a board that you go surfing on. A surfboard. Next part, we have grass and hopper. Grasshopper. The word is grasshopper. It's a, an insect that hops along in the grass, and we call that a grasshopper. All right, let's read this line of compound words. Try to read it before I do. Treehouse. Swordfish, moonlight, humpback, surfboard, grasshopper. Next, we have first part, sail, second part, boat. Put them together, sailboat. And that is a boat that uses sails in order to go through the water, to power through the water. Sailboat. Next word, we have first part, under, and second part, line. Put them together, underline. And that is when you put a line under a word, underline. Next word. First part is foot, second part is ball, and that is football. And that means it's a game where you have a ball and you use your foot to kick the ball. If we're talking about soccer, I'm not really sure why what they call American football that because you don't really use your feet all that much in American football. But the rest of the world calls football soccer because you use your foot to kick the ball. Next one, we have book and shop. Put them together, bookshop. And that is a shop that sells books. Next word, we have cook and book. Put them together, cookbook. And that is a book that you that has recipes for you to cook from it gives you different meals or different foods that you can cook and it's a book that you can read cookbook next one we have under and water we know what under is and we know what water is so underwater is when you go down under the water, underwater. Let's read that line. Sailboat, underline, 
football, bookshop, cookbook, underwater. Last line, we have first part, dog, second part, house. Put them together, dog house. It is a house for your dog, dog house. Next word, first part is bed, second part is room. It is a room for your bed. Put it together, bedroom, bedroom. Next word, first part is back, second part is pack. Put them together, backpack. And that is a pack that you wear on your back, called a backpack. Next word, we have the first part, time. Second part, line. Put them together, timeline. And that is a line, kind of like our number line that we have used. That is a line that keeps track of what has happened at different times in history. It's called a timeline. Next word, we have first part, sun. Second part, glasses. Put them together sunglasses and those are glasses that you wear in the sun to protect your eyes from the sunshine sunglasses last word we have play and we have ground put them together playground that is the grounds where you can play. It might have playground, play equipment that you can play on that ground. All right, let's read this line. Dog house, bedroom, backpack, timeline, sunglasses, playground. Okay, review real quick. Compound words are when you have a word and another word, you put them together to make a new bigger word. And you can figure out what that bigger word means by looking at the two parts. And then you can figure out what the bigger word means. Okay. Very nice work today. I'll see you next time.